And welcome back. Well, uh, it was a very hot day outside. There's no way to say it. Uh, we officially topped out at 100 degrees today here in Meridian. Now, whether that beat a record or not, uh, Weather Service has been having some data problems, so we actually can't get into that database right now. It's still just hot nonetheless. We've had a few clouds that moved overhead. Uh, most of the clouds stayed well and up to our south, along with a little some shower activity. You can see not a lot going on. Really, the eastern half of the U.S. is still under a high pressure, and we still do have Category 1 Hurricane Umberto out in the Atlantic Ocean going away from the coast and so not impacting us. That is the good news. Lows for tonight and yeah, get ready. Temperatures will be once again where we expect them to be in the upper 60s, right near 70 degrees. Winds more of the southwest, 5 to 10 miles per hour and mainly clear skies will be clearing on out as those clouds start to dissipate. And for your Tuesday, much like last week, just hot overall. Again, high pressure, not really going anywhere right now. There is some relief in sight. We're talking uh, not really rain, but just cooler temperatures in store as we go on throughout the back half of this week. Show that in just a second. It'll be nice overall. Tomorrow's forecast hot 99 degrees. Some places again will be above that triple digit mark. Very hot wind out of the north, relatively calm at five miles per hour. And then our heat index values, uh, I think uh, particularly this is overdoing it a little bit. So we use a model here and we're showing anywhere between 105 to 108 degrees. But the latest data coming in from a, a different computer model is actually keeping some of that moisture down to our south a little bit, keeping us a little bit drier. And so that will overall help our heat index values be a little bit lower. And we don't expect to get that heat advisory criteria met right now. Of course, a lot can change, but uh, right now we hope to keep that out of our viewing area. Radar and satellite over the past couple of hours. Again, shock TV well down to our south near Hattiesburg. We had one lone little drizzle patch pop up just to the east of us here in Meridian. And you can see when you come back around, it just went away very quickly. Again, we just don't have a lot of moisture. We don't have a lot of instability, so nothing really can get going. That high pressure keeping its hold on us for now. Future radar overnight tonight will clear out of any clouds that we had and going into tomorrow. Again, just a hot day overall. Clear skies. We'll have some clouds probably during the afternoon, during peaking hours, much like we've had over the past several days, it seems. And so that might give you a little bit of relief or reprieve from the heat, but don't expect it to do too much. Here we go. There's that dry air we've been talking about. We're looking at the mid-levels of the atmosphere right now. Boundary down to our south. That's where that shower and thunderstorm activity has remained. Out to the west, we're starting to see a dip in the jet stream. That is good news. We'll show it to you here. This dip right here, as we go on throughout later this week and into the weekend, will slowly start to move on up to the east and help us cool down for a few days. Shower activity most likely will remain well enough to our west as that high pressure moves over to the east, but still kind of has its grip on us for now. So we don't really expect too much in the way of shower activity. We just expect the temperatures to cool off nicely. We do have a few chances for showers if you're already looking behind me, but again, they're not very high right now. 99 degrees for both Tuesday and Wednesday, so very hot. And then there's a little bit of a front rolling on through for Thursday. That's where that slight chance of thunderstorms comes from. And then we're talking in the 80s for Friday, potentially Saturday as well. And then we'll slowly start to warm up as we go into Sunday and Monday. Monday being the first day of fall, so temperatures once again above average. Good news is those overnight lows should remain a little bit below average throughout the majority of your Sunday forecast in the mid to lower 60s.